All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, build a palindrome checker project, user stories number four. All right. So when we click on the check button element without entering a value into the text input element, an alert should appear with the text, please input a value. All right. So now we're gonna be working with the JavaScript itself. So first thing we're gonna to have to do is link the HTML to the JavaScript. So for that, we're gonna come here right after the uh, result div and we'll go onto a new line and we'll say, uh, what are we gonna say here, script script like this and then close script like that script. All right. And so inside here to link it to the JavaScript, we're going to do the SRC, the source equals script.js. So the source is going to equal this right here. So SRC equals script.js. All right. So now this and this are linked. All right. So let's come over here. Uh, so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to make the variables that link uh, that link these variables right here. Pardon me, these elements, the uh, input button and div element, to the uh, JavaScript. Right. So we'll come over here. We'll start off with the first one. We'll say const. Uh, what was it? Text input. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Const. Okay. Text input check button and result. So we'll say const. Here we go. Const uh, check button, check button. All right. And what that's going to equal is document dot get elements element by ID. And then the element we're going to be looking for, the ID we're going to be looking for is the check hyphen button. No, 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 no. Check BTN. All right. So we got that one first. Uh, then we're going to, okay, so we did the button first. Let's do the text input next. So let's just take this, copy it, bring it down to the next line, drop it off. And since we're gonna do result two, we'll drop this off as well, right? So let's, check, let's change the first one since the input's first. So let's call this um, text input, all right? And then we'll change this check button to text input. So we'll say text and then input input like that, all right? And then we'll change this one to result. So we'll say result, and then we'll change the check button in here to result. All right, so that should take care of that right there. So now we're going to work on this if statement to uh, make it to where if there's nothing, if there's, uh, if this thing's clicked right here and there's nothing inside of here, uh, it'll give us that alert, right? So we'll start off by saying, uh, since we're doing the check button, we'll say check button dot uh, add event listener, add event listener, all right? And we're gonna have inside here, we're gonna have the click event, click like that. And then we'll have the comma and we'll do the, um, what is that thing called? The callback function inside of here. So we'll have the, uh, what is that thing called? The empty parentheses will have the arrow, and then we'll have this uh, set of empty uh, curly braces right there. Then we'll cap it off with a semicolon. So inside of this, we'll bring this one down, and we're gonna start with that if statement. That's gonna say if uh, text input uh, dot value, because it's the value of this right here. So if text input dot value, if text input dot value, triple equals, uh, and then we'll say an empty string. So if there's nothing in there, what we're going to do is throw that alert. So we'll say uh, alert, and then we'll do please, whoops, please input a value like that. So it's this thing, this little phrase right here. All right, so now let's uh, check the thing since we have nothing in there. Check it. All right, so it does do this alert right here. Uh, let's open up the console, come down here, run the test. All right. So when the text input element only contains the letter A and the check button element is clicked, the result element should contain the text A is a palindrome. All right. So it looks like we're on to user stories 
number five, and we'll see you next time.